I'm just really surprised how fast my hair is dreading. It's so fast. Not even, not even a week. This is, I already have a few going on just I, without even trying that much. So I'll show you how I do one of them to keep it maintained. So I'm like, you know, I like to have it separated. So maybe I'll do a little small one here. I just keep doing these until eventually they set on themselves, set set by itself, without you maintaining them anymore, without using any products, not even crochet, not even backcombing. I don't even need to backcomb. I just I just go like this and let it fuzz up like a ball of yarn. You know, a ball of yarn. It's exactly what it is. A yarn is. A thick string mixed with all different kinds of hair. It's exactly like a piece of yarn. So, just grab one and twist. No, this is called rip. Rip and twist and rip and twist. Like, you can just. Whatever, just improvise and then just, it's supposed to be just however you want to do this. Because I just like a thinly try to look, so that's why I'm doing this like a really thin piece. Yeah. Let me just go fuzz it up more. Boom, 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 boom. Roll it, roll it out to make it more solid, and that's it. And you have a little thin piece of dread. I'm starting to look like Jamaican. I don't know. Oh. I personally don't know any Chinese women who has dreads, so yeah, I mean, this is probably going to really eliminate me further away in the dating market, especially, you know, considering Chinese boys probably find this really intimidating, <laughs> but honestly, I don't even care, I don't, whatever, it's not like... I, I can date easily anyways, it's, you know, it's difficult the way it is, so I might as well just do what will make me happy. And my hair naturally dreads, so it's, it's a sign, it's a sign that I'm on the right path. I think everybody's hair will naturally dreads, but especially if you have, you know, my type of wavy hair, you will dread easily. Thank <laughs> you.